guys welcome back to my channel i know i look crazy i am going to show you how to install your frontal i've plucked it already the three bundles are 24 inches and the frontal is 20 inches curly deep wave hair from julia hair so make sure you check that out. The first thing we're going to do, I'm using my normal foundation for my face. And then I just start off spreading it like this and then slowly add a bit more pressure to it. Using your got to be spray, spray the glue where you want your frontal to be laid and then slowly cut the excess cap. Go back in with your foundation and then this part is very important. This is to make sure that the wig cap fits you and is not obstructing your ear. Then you cut off the excess material from the cap, making sure that there are no more white bits left. Yes, just like that. Now you can go in with your ghost bond glue to hold down the sideburn area. Now lastly, go in with your foundation again. So this is the first stage of installing the frontal. So now I'm just gonna put on the hair. To start off, I make that a cut is. in the middle so that I know where I'm cutting, and then I cut all the way around the lace, making sure that I move the hair away. I also want to make sure that you cut as close to the hairline as possible. I don't know if you guys can see, but clearly there's some sort of obstruction near to, um, near my ear because of the lace. Cut round so that it fits the shape of your ear and is comfortable. <laughs> we're gonna get to the gluing part. For this part, you can use any glue of your choice, but here I'm using the ghost bond glue because it's strong, and then using a rat tail comb, just press the lace into the glue. Do the same to the sides, but I only use one layer because I feel like it's very strong already. And then you just press it in and you do the same to the sides, just like that. Okay, so as you can see, the hair is glued down and right now, I have done this part of the sideburn, so I've cut it down so if you see the difference. Here you want to cut at an angle so that it looks more natural. So yeah, I'm going to just grab a bit of hair. Usually before I make the baby hairs at the front, I like to part my hair so that I know where I'm going to place the baby hair and then I do the same by trimming it and then brushing it with a toothbrush. So as you can see, I only put a bit of baby hairs because I feel like it looks better. Don't want to be having too much things happening. Now I'm going to wet my hair and then I'm going to come back and show you guys how. As you can see now, I have wet the hair. So it's gone down a lot. Spray your got to be spray it all over your head and then comb it out with your comb. Spray in the same got to be spray, put on the toothbrush and brush your hair upwards, holding it for a few seconds. This should create some sort of dip and then if you need to go back in with your got to be spray, do the same. I'm gonna add and pull and just put it all over the hair. So this is the hair when it is all done. This hair, the wig was made by me, by myself. This hair, like I said before, was sent to me by Julia Hair. So make sure you check it out. I really love the curl pattern. Like, I love it. Like, and this hair is full. Do you know what? I was complaining at the start that it was full because that was when the hair was dry. So it was like really puffed out. But when it's actually wet and it has that like, conditioner in it, it's more tamed. It looks 
full but nice oh my god i love it guys mm. guys this hair is amazing um yeah and you can see the frontal in general full curly hair i recommend using a frontal instead because I feel like when you try to do curly hair with a closure, it just looks bulky and it just looks so rig like. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this hair. So I'm going to put their links in the description below. So make sure you check out their website because they're doing a lot of sales right now. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want to see more hair tutorials, yeah, put in the comments below and I can see what I can do. Thank you. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe.